Hey guys, it's Vlogmas Day 4, hours later, and we had to put Sadie down this morning, and I think I've cried out everything that I have, um, <laughs> it's really hard, um, but I know she's in a better place, so it was really, really difficult to be there and just everything, but we are getting her cremated, and so we're putting her in keepsake and I will be able to have part of her we still have her collar and everything so at least I'll still have her a little bit and I posted my favorite picture forever on Instagram in kind of like a memory and I'll put it here too at the end of the video probably and I just this whole video this whole today this week this month everything is going to be dedicated to her because she was the best best friend I could have ever asked for and she it's literally, I don't have a single memory of my life before her. My first memory is calling my grandma and being like, hey, we got a dog. I was like two and a half or three years old. And I don't know, it's just one of those things that she was always here for me. And this morning was very, very tough. Because going in, like, she had no idea what was going to happen. None. But she was having such a hard time breathing. And, like, she was such a fighter. She was not going to go without a fight. But after we put her in a sedative and she was sleeping, she was the most peaceful she's been in a very long time. And it's for the best. As much as it's very, very hard for me and my entire family, we've been a crying disaster. My parents, we just left for work and it's very difficult. But, uh, yeah. I'm still going to vlog because I think it's very important that I don't let this take over my life. Um, as hard as it's going to be, I can't let something like this push me into a kind of like depressed depression again. Um, usually when something bad happens, my mental state just plummets. And I have been so much better since like April and I'm not going to let it do that this time. I still have to take care of myself even though this is the worst thing that's probably ever happened to me to be honest. Um... I'm just going to try and get through the day, uh, so it's just after 10 a.m. I'm going to film a little bit, I'm going to edit a bit. My friend Sarah's coming over today, my best friend, and I get to give her her Christmas gifts and all of that, and I'm excited for that. So, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so it's later and I got dressed, sort of, I'm still in like comfortable clothing. But I was productive and I cleaned my room because I knew sitting in my butt and just like sobbing my eyes out was not going to do me any good. So I had been moving around and doing stuff while sobbing my eyes out. Um, this is the hardest thing I've ever had to deal with. I didn't realize it'd be so hard. I hope you guys don't mind that I'm vlogging today. I just, I have gone through such an internal struggle like in the last couple of days, like knowing like when she goes, like am I going to vlog? Because like I told, I said I was going to do vlogmas. But, like, I didn't want this to seem like I was, like, doing it for views or doing it for attention because, like, I'm honestly in so much pain. But I just, I feel like documenting this experience will be something that helps me in the long run. Um, because, like, it's, it's, like, a physical pain and, like, an emotional pain. But, like, knowing that I went through it and got through it, I guess, is going to help me. So, really, I'm vlogging for me, not for you, because if I wasn't ready to do it for me. I would not be vlogging these days even though it's vlogmas and I don't know. I just don't want it to seem like I'm being superficial because like I'm literally in so much pain. I just don't want to vlog me sobbing my eyes out if that makes sense. Um, cause I, I, I'm a gross crier and it just doesn't look good and you guys have seen that before I think. So I don't know. I do want to show you guys something I made though. I made like a little memorial thing for Sadie. Let me turn the camera around and show you. So I printed out my favorite picture of her and hung up her collar. Um, it didn't, it couldn't fit on the hook, so I put my old cross on it, and I guess it's really representative. And this is her old, this is her collar, her name tag, and everything. And then my favorite picture of her is printed up here. So it's a little memorial area for her, and I hope she appreciates it. I know she's looking down on me. I guess it's just like a really, really difficult situation to be in right now. I'm in a lot of emotional pain and I keep thinking that I'm done crying and then I start crying again and I don't know. I don't know. I 
we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. So, I just wrote and recorded a little two-minute slam poem about Sadie. I think I'm going to put it in after this clip. I just, I feel so horrible, and then everything that was going to happen got canceled, and now I feel even worse, and, like, I'm in such a disaster area, and, every, oh, God, I'm not taking this well. I'm not taking this well at all. I'm miserable. I'm, like, exhausted. I'm, like, emotionally exhausted, like, physically. Like, me taking a nap is not going to help. Like, I can't just sit and not do anything, and it's so bad for me. And I'm really sorry this is such a sad vlog. I... It hasn't sunk in yet. I know it hasn't, because when it will, you guys will know why. It's, I just... God, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life. I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know anything about anything. And it's really rough right now. So I hope you guys enjoy the slam ball. It's coming up. Okay. Sadie, a slam poem. If I used every single word in the entire English language, I still would not be able to accurately portray and express the abundance of emotion that are coursing through my body and mind. I never expected it to happen so soon, so quickly. I never had to bear a loss before, not to mention the loss of my best friend. And to be honest, I don't think I'll ever recover. There's a piece of my fragile glass heart that's been carefully removed and then smashed on the ground right in front of my eyes as her breath stopped and she was finally at peace. My heart raced faster and tears would not stop flowing. She's gone. My best friend, my playmate, my first memory is gone. And while she's at peace, I am left here to grieve, but I know, or at least I would like to believe, that all dogs go to heaven. And that she's looking down on me, applauding and saying, keep fighting, because I know that's what she'd want for me. She always looked at me with such hope and happiness in her eyes, and for the last few hours of her existence, I couldn't even blink in her direction. But I know she understands. If anyone tells you it's stupid to cry over a pet, shove your foot so far up their ass it comes out of the mouth they use to spew that bullshit. People like that have clearly never had this kind of connection. An unconditional love. A relationship that will never go sour. A partner that you can always count on. And that's what she was to me. As I sat there, and she took her last breath, and lo I looked back on those 14 years of her marvelous life, 13 of which were spent in my arms. And yeah, she was happy. And now that she's gone, I know that she's up there barking down at me and wagging her tail and waiting for me to come see her. She knows it'll be a long time, but she'll be there waiting for me to come home. Rest in peace, Sadie. I love you. So it's a little bit later, and I think we're all feeling a little bit better. We're not really feeling as horrid as we were earlier. Um, and I just hung out with my mom for a couple hours, and it was really super nice. And we're going to go out, the, all of us are going to go to the pizza house for dinner tonight, and I hope that makes us like feel a little bit better. I don't entirely know um, what's going on, but I think that we should enjoy that. And I know that I feel like super numb and drained, but... Pretty sure we all do, but it's something we gotta cope with, so. I don't know. I'll see you guys in Ann Arbor. Um, so Amanda just threw a mint from the pizza house and it landed in my water. <laughs> How's your water? He sucks at catching. Mm, minty. <laughs> he sucks at catching. You're an idiot. <laughs> You're an idiot. When I said catch it, I meant catch it. <laughs>
How? I can't catch anything for the life of me. If they watch you, they know that. Fair point. Okay, so we're home from dinner and all of us are here. We've got Skippy over there. And we're going to watch some John Panette. If you guys don't know John Panette, he's a comedian. And he's really, really funny. And I think I'll link one of his shows uh, called I Say Nene below. And right now we're going to watch Still Hungry on Netflix. And try to feel better. And it's the boss of cake. <laughs> you are the boss of cake? I did not know you could arbitrarily make yourself the boss. Well, guys, it's evening, and it's time for me to hit the hay. It's been a very long and a very stressful day that started out really, really bad, but it's slowly gotten better. Um, I'm excited for tomorrow because there's a lot, a lot of stuff going tomorrow, and, well, tomorrow is the day you're watching this. Um, I'm meeting someone very, very special and important and cool for the first time tomorrow, and there will be Snapchats, and there will be... A vlog that comes out tomorrow for you guys <laughs> um and yeah there's a lot of cool stuff and expect some collabs and i'm very very excited for all of that also i want to let you know guys know that i am now like i think i'm four subscribers away from reaching my next giveaway goal for the gift keyboard giveaway let me log into my computer real quick and see the actual like uh, thing I is that refreshed let's refresh it yeah guys I am can you see that will it focus 171 guys the next giveaway takes place at 174 and this is for my main channel so if you watch this and you're not subscribed to my main channel which is youtube.com slash Riley Kyle you should definitely go check it out I have a link to the giveaway video and my main channel below and basically you can enter the giveaway and the next uh, winner will be picked when I reach 175 subscribers, and you're either going to win stickers, a pair of gift keyboard sunglasses that look like this, they're just like these, and then they've got this, and then, or, there's a water bottle available, and the water bottle's like super nice, and it comes with a carabiner, and they're absolutely great. So you can win one of those things, and basically to enter, you just have to sub be subscribed to my main channel, you need to like the video and you need to comment on the video and that's basically it and then I will choose a winner at random and I'm super excited to be giving this stuff to you the people who've already won the shirts and stuff they loved them so hopefully I can get some more to give to you guys and yeah that's that's like all I've got but I'm really 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 close to the next giveaway so if you want to go subscribe to that you can totally do that that would make my day it would make me feel great and a lot better than I do right now I'll tell you that uh, but I think that's all, and I love you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.